There you go. That is the launch of Chandrayaan. It's a history in the making. And you are witnessing it right now. Sun performance normal. Now the vehicle has gone into the clouds and you cannot see it from the outside cameras. But all the scientists are closely watching the parameters as they are being telemetered. You can see on the plot board here uh, the time versus velocity of the vehicle. And uh, you can see the blink that is coming and that shows the how the vehicle is going. And uh, uh, in the behind is the expected nominal performance of the vehicle plotted there. And you can see that it is going very closely. Very closely following. PSM ka separation pulled hua. The strap ons have lighted and uh, we can see from the plot boards that the, the vehicle parameters are very good and the vehicle is going precisely on the expected thing. Right, it's so as you can see, as being suggested by scientists uh, there, that uh, things are on track, everything positive so far. It's just launched. Chandrayaan-1 uh, is heading for the moon. Remember, it's going to take 16 days for it to actually uh, reach and settle down in its orbit. Uh, uh, things looking good, of course. All those technicalities are a little difficult to understand, but uh, we will take all that to our expert here uh, 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 today, this morning, Professor C. Shivram, in just a bit. But remember, just, just a couple of facts that, uh, that uh, we are getting that uh, this is a 1300 kilogram rocket which just uh, lifted off uh, from uh, Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh uh, and it is really the beginning of uh, India's space explorations uh, on a larger scale as it's uh, very different from the previous missions that we've seen uh, take place uh, which, which the ISRO has conducted. So far India has only launched satellites for communication or remote sensing as we were also being told by our, uh, our guest Professor C. Shivram but uh, this is the first time that the Chandrayaan will be conducting scientific experiments. They are carrying payloads, about uh, uh, about 11 uh, payloads uh, as well. Let's uh, again go across to uh, what's happening at the ISRO space station. Altitude of 106 kilometers and the performance is on dot as expected. Plus three minutes. Everything is good. Heat shield ah. separation. Hua. Heat shield separation, which is protecting the spacecraft until uh, un, in the atmospheric regime has been separated safely. And the Chandrayaan spacecraft now is exposed to the external environment. Now the vehicle is going on the closed loop uh, mode. Uh, at 130 seconds or so, it has gone into the closed loop so that any vehicle deviations are corrected by the onboard computer and uh, the corrected vehicle steering has been, will be implemented. It is in the closed loop guidance mode. Chandrayaan separated from the rocket and it is in its uh, very beautiful, exciting, very good orbit. Once again, we have achieved uh, a perfect launch, PSLV C7, a momentous launch. This is Mission Director, of, uh, PSLV C11 has placed the Chandrayaan spacecraft in its orbit. And, uh, the mission of C11 is completed. Just, uh, day to day. Thank you very much for being with us, and uh, this is uh, an excellent uh, uh, mission that we have, a textbook mission, a perfect mission, and uh, we are expecting. Uh, all the scientists are in jubilation and uh, we expect uh, the chairman of uh, uh, Indian Space Research Organization to speak to all the viewers.